two bass drums can really add another dimension to your playing. Now, I'd like to show you a few different ways that I use them in uh, my soloing, playing beats, and playing fills. Now, generally, when I solo and play fills, I use three kinds of techniques. First one is what I call question answer, copycat, what have you. Play something with your hands, mimic it with your feet, like this. Something along those lines. Another technique I use involves playing around with your hands and then, at random, doubling some of those licks with your feet, like this. Now, a third technique that I use involves a continuous flow of notes, sixteenths or triplets between the hands and the feet. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of hand-feet patterns. I want to work with one for the moment. It's the first pattern you probably work with when you're practicing double bass drums. Four note pattern, two hands, two feet. Some people call these quads, and I love that word. Okay. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Now, if you notice, I just played at three different speeds. That's because when I'm using the two bass drums, I often like to switch gears and slow things down and speed them up. Always in time, though. Now, I'm playing both hands on one drum, snare drum. I can also do two hands anywhere I want, like this. Another thing to do is to put one hand on one drum, one hand on another, like this. It's a totally different sound. Another pattern that I like to use is a six note pattern. Either four notes in the hands, two in the feet, or two notes in the hand, four in the feet. I'll start with four with the hands, two with the feet. I'll play them all on one drum first. Or I can put two notes on a drum. Or I can put one note on each drum. These six note patterns work really well as uh, sextuplets or two uh, sixteenth note triplets right on the quarter note. Now something else I like using uh, the six note patterns for is thinking of them as sixteenth notes and working them into 4-4 um, time 16th note patterns. So you have to do a little bit of math. How many 6 note patterns can fit into a measure of 4-4? Well, there are 16 16th notes. I have a 6 note pattern, another 6 note pattern, that's 12 notes, and then I can follow it up with a 4 note pattern. That gives me my total of 16. That sounds like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. And if you noticed, I was employing some of the different um, voicing techniques that I've been talking about. Two notes per drum, one note per drum, and uh, you get a lot of different sounds that way. So now I'll just play a little bit and put all these three different um, patterns together. The quads, 
uh, the triplet or sextuplet patterns, and then these six note groupings. Now, uh, as far as beats go, especially if you're just getting started, uh, you want to concentrate on getting a nice, consistent single stroke roll going. That would be sixteenths or triplets. And uh, you might want to work towards that by playing simple hand patterns over it. Maybe a uh, quarter note backbeat on the snare, quarter notes on the cymbal, uh, eighths on the cymbal, offbeat cymbal pattern paradiddles because rudiments work really nicely. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll play a couple measures of each of those. That sounds like this. Two, three, four. some patterns over triplets in the bass drum. One, two, three, four. Now these are more or less continuous patterns because the bass drum is uh, never letting up. Duh, 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 duh. You should also practice breaking up those patterns. Probably call them non-continuous beats. Here's an example of that. Two, three, four. 